Hello students, let us begin the new chapter, Direct and Inverse Proportion. As the topic suggests, it is related to proportion, which is in continuation with the chapter, Ratio and Proportion of Class 7th. The relationship between two quantities of the same unit can be expressed as A is to B or else we have defined the ratio as the comparison of two quantities in terms of division. Sometimes expressed as quotient of the two quantities that indicate how many times the first number contains the second. Ratio is represented in the form of fraction of two quantities the quantities must have the same unit or I can say that the ratio is the comparison of two quantities of the same type. So for example, Mohan has 15 pence and 29 pencils. Then the ratio of pence to the pencils would be 15 is to 29, the ratio of pencils to pens would be 29 is to 15. Whenever we represent a ratio, it is something like A is to B. Here in the ratio A is to B, A is called as an antecedent and B is called as consequent. If I write the same in the fraction form, a is the numerator and B is the denominator. Let's find ratio of 4 kilometer to 400 meter. Here, to find the ratio, I need to first make this kilometer to meters, else meter to kilometer. Since it is a ratio of 4 kilometer, to 200 meters, I would like to convert this kilometer to meters. We all know that one kilometer is 1000 meters. So four kilometer will be 4000 meters. So the required ratio is 4000 divided by 200 of the zeros get cancelled, we will be getting 20 by 1 or it is 20 is to 1. This is the ratio. Then what is proportion? When four quantities are so related that the ratio between the first and the second quantity is equal to the ratio between the third and the fourth quantity then these quantities are said to be in proportion. You have to note that the ratios of which are equivalent, they are also in proportion. If there is a ratio say 2 is to 3 and if there is a ratio 4 is to 6, these are in proportion because when you Simplify this 4 is to 6 in a standard form, we get 2 is to 3. And we represent the proportion in this format A is to B is proportional to C is to D. Or we can also say that A is to B ratio is equal to C is to D. You have to remember that here A and D, they are called as extremes. C and B, they are called as means. Whenever two ratios are equal, the product of the extremes will be equal to the product of means. 
For example, if we have a question, show the numbers 44, 66, 42 and 63 are in proportion. We have to find out whether they are in proportion by finding them in a standard form or else we can multiply the extremes and the means. Suppose if I write 44 is to 66 and 42 is to 63. If I multiply 44 with 63 and 66 with 42, if I get their product equal, then I can say that they are in proportion. Let's find the product of extremes. 44 into 63. And we get it as 2,772. Now if I find the product of means, it is 66 into 42. For this, the product is 2,772. If you observe their products are equal, so I can say that 44 is to 66 is proportional to 42 is to 63. This is a method. Another method is we can express that in standard form. Suppose if I consider 44 is to 66, I can write this as 44 by 66. Now I can divide both numerator and denominator by 11. We get it as 4 by 6. Further, I can divide this by 2. I get 2 by 3. Now if I consider 42 is to 63. 42 by 63, I'll divide both numerator and denominator by 7. 7 6 times is 42. 7 9 times is 63. Now if I divide by 3, I get 2 by 3. These two ratios are equal. Since 44 is to 66 is equal to 42 is to 63, we can say that 44 is to 66 is proportional to 42 is to 63. One more question we shall see. What number must be added to each of the numbers 11, 19, 23 and 39 to get the numbers which are in proportion? Suppose if that number is x, if I consider 11 plus x, is to 19 plus x. This has to be in proportion with 23 plus x is to 39 plus x. So I have added a number x. Now I have to find out what is that number which is making this proportion. We can write this as 11 x 11 plus x multiplied with 39 plus x equal to 19 plus x multiplied with 23 plus x this is because product of extremes equal to 
product of means. Now we need to multiply this. So 11 multiplied to 39 plus x plus x is multiplied to 39 plus x is equal to 19 multiplied to 23 plus x plus x is multiplied to 23 plus x. 11 times of 39 is 429 plus 11x plus 39x square plus sorry 39x plus x square this is equal to 19 times of 23 is 437 plus 19x plus 23x plus x square if you observe both the sides there is x square added so we can cancel them out 11x plus 39x is 50x plus 429 is equal to 19 plus 23 is 42x plus 437 if you transpose this 42x to the left hand side becomes 8x because 50 minus 42 is 8x which is equal to 437 minus 429 and the difference is again 8 so the value of x we get it as 1 so 1 is that number which is to be added to all these 11 19 23 and 39 so that they will be in proportion this is a different type of question which was related to proportion now we shall discuss there will there are two types of proportion one is called as a direct proportion the other one is called as inverse proportion we come across many situations in our daily life where we see that variation in one quantity brings a variation in the other quantity suppose uh, if i consider a car if a car is traveling at certain speed covering a distance between a and b which is at some distance say 200 kilometers away from each other if a car is making a speed of say 50 kilometer per hour it will be taking certain time to reach this distance and the time taken is four hours if the car is moving at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour it would take four hours to reach destination b if the car speed is increased from 50 km per hour to 100 km per hour to cover the same distance the time will now change it will become exactly half so the change in one particular quantity will bring a change in another quantity this is called as a variation. In this case, the increase in one quantity is bringing a decrease in the other quantity. This variation is a inverse variation. This one is inverse variation. This is one, one example. Another example could be a compass box. If 
a compass box cost rupees 100 if five such compass boxes are there five boxes then it will be rupees 500 so increase in the quantity of the compass box is bringing an increase in their cost so this is a direct variation so there are two types of variations those variations are termed as direct and inverse proportional so here is an example when more money is deposited in the bank then more interest is earned on the money in a fixed period this is a direct proportion when the speed increases when the time taken to cover the same distance decreases this is an inverse proportion let's look at this example you see the number of boys and the number of girls here the number of boys are six and the number of girls are four so the ratio is six is to four in this scenario second one boys are three girls are two the ratio is three is to two these are in proportion suppose if uh, you multiply two to both three and two you'll be getting six is to four now we shall take up direct proportion and learn direct proportion in detail an increase in one quantity causes an increase in the other quantity or decrease in one quantity causes the decrease in the other quantity then we say that they are relatively direct or they are related directly in such cases their ratio will be constant if i define it in the other way two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion if whenever the value of x increases or decreases then the value of y increases or decreases in such a way that the ratio x by y will remain constant this type of proportion is called as a direct proportion to give an example here the number of pencils if i mention it as x and the cost of pencil in rupees is mentioned as y here five pencils the cost is 20 rupees then the cost of 10 pencils will be 40 rupees the cost of 15 pencils will be 60 rupees if x and y they are direct proportion so the ratio x by y is a constant here if you find out x by y we get 5 by 20 which is equal to 10 by 40 which is equal to 15 by 60 and that the ratio is 1 is to 4 1 by 4 here if i mention this as x1 x2 x3 these are mentioned as y1 y2 y3 we observe that x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 which is equal to x3 by y3 this is a constant here the k represents a constant with this i'll end this session we shall continue solving questions which are related to direct proportion in the next video thank you